Why do we need a bias term in any machine learning algorithm such as linear regression or a neural network? Now, this is a classical representation of a linear regression equation where y is the dependent variable and a is the bias term. Hello, my name is Rohan Paul and very welcome to my computer vision and deep learning YouTube channel. Let's get started. Now, the simple answer to that question is that bias in linear regression, that is uh, these, uh, this variable A here, is used to move the line, the prediction hyperplane line, up or down. What do I mean by this? That is, in linear regression, without the bias term, your solution has to go through the origin. That is, in this case, uh, the, this, is, this green line is my solution line, that is a predicted line or the prediction line or hyperparameter various ways it is called and it, because there is no bias when all the feature values are zero then it has to the prediction also needs to be zero and here features are just two, two dimensional features that is x and y now this situation that is this constraint that is uh, the prediction needs to be zero when x and y is zero may not be the answer of your training data set that is your training data may have a bias which means that even if the features x and y values are zero y is not zero so how do I capture that characteristic of the training data set? And that's by using the bias term. So the goal of linear regression is to estimate the parameters that best predict the outcome given the input features or the predictors. If the expected value of your outcome variable is not zero, then we would also need to estimate the bias weight along with the feature weights. And if we do not account for this bias, then the prediction from your estimated model will be uh, very off. So adding a bias weight that does not depend on any of the features allows the hyperplane described by your learned weights to more easily fit data, that is fit the training data that does not pass through the origin. And that's how we add a bias term, which is what is represented in the image on the right side here even when x and y is zero that is at this point that is all the features of the prediction model model are zero the predicted value is not zero and now let's see the case for a neural network so a bias value in a neural network allows you to shift the activation function to the left or right which may be critical for your successful learning and what do i mean by that let's uh, check out this simple example here consider this one input one output network that has no bias so in this case the output of the network is um, computed by multiplying the input x by the weight w0 and uh, passing the result through some kind of activation function for example a sigmoid function and on the right bottom side we see the uh, the the graphical representation of the function uh, where in the x-axis we present uh, the input value and the out the y-axis presents the output value and the graph very much shows the various values that uh, uh, w0 can take and how that affects the uh, overall the final output for example if i uh, give 0 0.5 or 1 or 2 as the weight values then that's how the curve changes and effectively what's happening is that by changing the values of the weight i'm affecting the overall steepness of the curve but what if i want uh, the 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 output value to be zero when x is two then just changing the weight to take different values does not help me so in that case what is needed is you want to be able to shift the entire curve to the right and that's exactly the bias term will allow you to do like so so here in this uh, in this situation now i am adding a bias term here uh, with a value of one 
so uh, in that case the output of the network becomes the the weighted sum of these two factor that is the output will be w0 into x plus w1 times 1 and take uh, the whole weighted sum you supply to the sigmoid function and that's my output and by doing that here is the final result that is the same curve to what i'm getting with the bias term and now we can see that with the weight of minus 5 here uh, for w1 that will shift the curve to the right which allows us to have a network that outputs 0 when x is 2 which is exactly what we wanted so overall a layer in a neural network without a bias is nothing more than a multiplication of the input vector with the matrix uh, this means that you are using a linear function and thus an input of all zeros will always be mapped to an output of all zeros. This might be a reasonable solution for some system or some training data set but in general it is too restrictive. Hence using or adding a bias term you are effectively adding another dimension to your input space so you are avoiding an input vector of all zeros and modification of the neuron weights alone only serves to manipulate the shape or curvature of your transfer function and not its equilibrium or zero crossing point that's exactly what we saw in this that is uh, here we i was able to control only the uh, steepness of this curvature but not the positioning and sh i was not able to shift this curve altogether at all but with the bias term i can shift the curve so that's so that's exactly what your bias term will allow you to do that it will introduce the the introduction of the bias neuron will allow you to shift the transfer function curve horizontally that is left or right along the input axis while leaving the shape or curvature unaltered this will allow the network to produce arbitrary outputs different from the defaults and hence you can customize or shift the input to output mapping to suit your particular needs